how to create standard c channel let's refer to indian standard for standard c channel or still c channel sections here you can see hot rolled still channel sections for general engineering purposes dimensions in this document we can find dimensions for standard c channel go to this page as you can see the geometry of c channel as per indian standards this is a b width of c channel h height of c channel and the dimensions are given below h and b height and width we can refer to c h g 40 40 c channel the 40 will be height of the c channel or we can say depth of c channel b is width of flange which is 40 mm height and 32 mm width go to start in katia mechanical design part design give name or enter part name as c h g 40 for the part or c channel in katia v5 here you can see the name of C channel and the dimensions as highlighted and these are the notations given for geometry as per requirement go to sketch position sketch my Katia tree is hidden here press F3 to show the Katia tree select YZ plane ok now you have entered in sketcher select profile to draw the sketch of c channel i have some problem here i will just reselect the profile yeah now click and draw as per geometry given in the standard document make sure to match these two points as shown draw as per the geometry we have taken half portion above the edge line and half portion below because these two are symmetrical identical geometries in the future we are going to provide a symmetry constraint over there as you can see we have provided symmetry constraint to the applicable lines horizontal lines now value of edge is 40 mm enter the value of h 40 mm to the channel height select constraint select the edge bottom edge double click enter 40 ok press enter or select ok it will be fine now the value of EH is 40 which we have entered actually I was trying to highlight this 40 uh, yeah I found it uh, yeah any color yeah okay so 40 we have given I'm using hand tool to uh, manipulate or uh, for the moment of a document the value of uh, width is 32 select this vertical edge and end edge enter 32 ok now we have entered two dimensions 40 and 32 actually yeah uh, press the escape to get out from constraints yeah ok then yeah you can move it like this now as you can see there is a formula uh, you can add first a tf value 
Pf is a value between two points as you can see over there for that uh, uh, in the Katia I will show you how to do it how to enter value of Tf value of Tf thickness of flange is 7.5 at the distance y or eyy as given in the document so select axis from Katia uh, select any point right now we will position it later uh, join two points by axis for uh, top flange and bottom flange as well the axis should be perpendicular to the bottom line yeah, the value of tf is 7.5 mm enter this value at the both positions select constant and give the value yeah 7.5 okay actually because i had made a symmetry of these two uh, angular line uh, it is showing like this now i think uh, the symmetry is not needed here for these two lines we will have to delete this symmetry then only it will shows the angle yeah it was my mistake don't do it yeah like this you can do yeah super now let's go to the document now we will have to position the tf uh, you can see uh, the positioning dimension is y and eyy formula is b minus tw divided by 2 b is 32 and uh, tw is 5 32 minus 5 is 27 divided by 2 13.5 value this value is for y to positioning tf as per the diagram we are giving 13.5 dimensions yeah, as you can see for the both flanges we will have to provide the same value 13.5 yeah now we have positioned this uh, I think again we have to give EYY value as well it will be similar as shown in the formula uh, give 13.5 dimension yeah that's super do it similarly and for below flange as well 13.5 select the edge and uh, the axis you can make a reference here because these two ends we have made a uh, coincident you can see both are green now we will provide the angle uh, as given by theta which is 95 degree as you can see in the document 95 degree go to Katia we will give angle to both the edges select accordingly as shown 95 degree for top edge as well 95 degree okay now we are left with only radius at the root and for the flange r1 and r2 we will go to the document now let's take it out 40 dimension it was inside uh, r1 value is 6 mm and r2 value is 3 mm radius at root select corner and <coughs> select the two edges 6 mm yeah corner select two edges double click provide 6 as value for radius 
or bottom corner as well select corner feature select two edges enter 6 7 as the root radius super we are done now we will have to provide r2 value which is 3 mm as shown in the geometry go to the cutia select corner select appropriate two edges as for this corner select 3 mm yeah the radius has been provided for the top flange now go to the bottom select corner select two edges click double click enter 3 mm okay now we are done with the geometry and its constraints dimensions as per all standard given details as in for C channel given in Indian standard for CHG 40 now go to the Katia exit the sketch workbench sketch is selected select pad now you can enter any value of length as per your requirement I am giving 500 mm and 500 mm for other side so this will be equal length on both sides of the YZ plane so total length is 1 meter or 1000 mm as you can see this is how the standard C channel will look you can enter axis system XYZ axis you can hide all these three planes XY plane YZ plane ZX plane right click hide select and hide this is how it will look isometric view now we can apply the material right click and define in object now go to the apply material icon select it go to the metals here you can add any material aluminium steel etc i am going to give steel material over here select part body now apply material ok material has been given let's see how it looks in the material shading yeah this is how it will look for the steel material thank you guys thank you very much for watching my video